Hey everyone, back with another beer review, and we have two beers in again. It's brewed by the Glazen Toren by Jeff van der Steen, and you can see the Saison der Pemere, and you can see Ondineke. You might have seen the Saison der Pemere pop up, pop up here and there. So some guys, even from the USA, already reviewed it because they are shipping now to the USA also. It's a it's a brewery, the Glazen Toren. It's from Erpemere. And like I told you, is brewed by Jeff van der Steen. Jeff van der Steen, and he's a walking encyclopedia. I must tell you, if you have any questions about beer, like if you would tell him, would uh, ask him, tell me how the Duvel is brewed and what's so special about it. He will tell you immediately. He knows everything about beer. He's an older guy, of course, but uh, they do have their tasting group also. It's called Opa. Is uh, from Aalst, where I am from. So Erpemere isn't really far from here, like really close, a few miles. So, first of all, thanks to my brother, I got this one, the big one, Saison d'Erpemere. So, thank you, my brother, Gert, he's called my brother, and he told me, like, you can have this bottle, but do review it on your videos, on your reviews. <laughs> and I told him, okay, no problem. But I'm, we'll keep this one for later to enjoy much more. And now I'm going to try the 33 cent liter bottles because they, these two now are in 33 cent liter bottles, like you can see. The rest of them are still in those 750 milliliter bottles. But yeah, they have more of these, of, of course, because Chef on the Stain isn't uh, brewing one beer only, of course. He's, uh, he had milk. He has also a white beer and a winter beer and some more stranger beers. But uh, this one is a Saison. It comes in at 6.5% ABV. And this one is a triple and it comes in at 8.5% ABV. Oh, yeah. So this is brewed after an old, brew, old uh, recipe. And this one is a triple with Hallerto hops. And it will be really, really refreshing. I had it before. It's an amazing beer. He, this, this guy can brew, of course. So yeah, we gotta get it into glass. We're gonna start with the Saison der Pemere, the Saison Bier de Garde, like they call it, like they call it. So I'm gonna take my Lupulus glass for this one. Okay, let's crack it open. You can see also on the cap, it does says Saison der Pemere, but I got the cap already. So I don't have to use my coin to make sure it isn't bent. But now it is bent, of course. So we're going to get this 6.5% one. I'm going to pour this slowly, but most of the time it's saisons. You get this very big heads. And it's normal with the wheat and uh, malts. And they are really, really lively. And the saison yeast makes it also drier. Because the yeast eats more of the fruitiness, uh, more of the maltiness away and makes it drier. Like you can see, even if I poured it really slow, it still has this really big head to it. I'm going to put this one here so you can see I'm drinking this one now. And later on, I will put the Ondineke in front. So you know that, of course. Okay. So Ondineke is a figure, like you can see here. In Aals, there is a statue at the city hall. You can watch that statue. And it's after a story of Louis Paul Bon, Ondineke. But I'm going to crack that one open later. We're going to get this one on the nose. And it's fading already, the head, like you can see. And it has a straw yellow hazy color to it. With some carbonation. It's medium carbonated, not high carbonated. But like I told you, the foam is typical with these most of these Saison beers styles. So on the nose first, guys. Cheers. You really get the fruitiness again. You're, it's typical Saison style, you know. The natural ingredients, like the fruitiness is there, but the maltiness is more eaten away by the more aggressive yeast. And... Normally it would be dry, but I get the fruitiness most, like your orange peel, your citrusy notes in there. So, okay, we're going to dive in. Cheers, guys. 
It is really smooth drinking. It is really refreshing. Really balanced. It is fruity. The Hallerto hops do deliver some fruity notes. They're from Germany. So they do deliver these fruity notes to it. It is, it is rather bitter, but it is medium dry. I got to tell you. It sticks to the palate, the dryness, like the flavor. Still sticking to the palate, the citrusy notes, the orange peel, maybe not orange peel, but certainly citrusy notes. Also some pineapple notes to it. Yeah. It's really well made, I gotta tell you. And like you, if you type it in, in your search engine on YouTube, you will see some other guys from other countries that reviewed this one. So it's really wanted now. And these little bigger bottles, these are the ones that are now shipped mostly to America. But I think it's a really nice twist when he made these 33 centiliter bottles because we were not used to it from this brewery. We always got it in big bottles. Even in the pubs, we can buy it here, no problem. What? So okay. Six and a half percent, really nice, really clean, really bitter, uh, rather bitter. It has this constant, really nice flavor to it. You get your balanced notes in here. It's really balanced, like all the ingredients. It is fruity. It is medium dry. Yeah, it is slight malty, but it's for, foremost refreshing. So again, a beer to drink in spring or summertime. So okay, we're gonna get this away. And now it's time to for this one. Again, the great cap that matches the label. And we're gonna open it and I'm gonna get a glass. This glass was, I was saving actually for the beer I did, the Trappist one, the Trappist one, the extra. I had this glass and I poured it in, a, in the other glass oh, no. for this review. So, sorry guys. Now I have to pour this one, this Ondineke, from for 8.5% eight and, eight and ABV, the triple, into this glass. And you can see the head isn't that big or the carbonation isn't that lively at all, like the Saison. Orange color to it. It is again kind of hazy, but you can see the head is disappearing rather fast. Uh, okay, we're just gonna try it first on the nose. Cheers, guys. I really like this. Is so damn malty, so damn full, fruity, refreshing. I must try it again. Cheers, guys. It is an amazing triple. Still, I think it is an amazing triple. It's definitely in my top five. Maybe not in my top five, but definitely in my top ten. From all triples I had before. And like I promised you guys, we're going to put this one in front of the other one, in front of the Saison der Pemere. So now it's Louis Polbon. And if you search that on the internet, you can see a whole story about Louis Polbon. He made his books and he, he was a very strange writer. He, he would definitely go sometimes really far in his writings. So, okay, really special guy. So this one is also rather bitter, really fruity, malty. And in this one, you get your orange, oranges for sure. Yeah, it's, I'm going to try again. Cheers, guys. It's so easy drinking for the eight and a half percent ABV, but it's really full in taste. It is indeed bitter. And also, again, it sticks to your palate. 
you can taste it like 30 seconds later you can still taste it this is more one to enjoy the other one the saison is to drink in uh, summertime this one also but yeah it's more malty so it's not not that smooth drinking but for the eight and a half percent i got to tell you it is really smooth drinking but it has a more bitter taste less some less fruity yeah less fruity taste although i think it's a really amazing triple i'm not gonna lie and when i had this in larger bottles i always thought the ondineke was really superb when comparing this to the saison der Pemere, but now i have them separately in the smaller bottles i think i will prefer the saison der Pemere because it's really fresh now in these smaller bottles and i don't know in the larger bottles because Jeff van der Steel is a really, it's like, it's kind of strange guy. So, okay. He's a walking encyclopedia, that's for sure. But uh, he is a strange character. But he knows his stuff, of course. So, I'm going to give this the same rating, these two. And I'm give, going to give them both 7.5 out of 10. I really like them. They are really, really nice. And... If you can find them and you will sure to, certainly will because this one you can get almost everywhere now because they're shipping it out it will be in larger bottles if i'm correct because in belgium the larger bottles are a little bit more hard to find and that's why the larger bottles are going to like uh, other countries from from belgium out to other countries so I'm just gonna stop this uh, review, guys, and I hope you remember this one. A beer addict is Dr. Ray. Cheers! Thanks for watching.